Hello, my name is Adam Brennan, and I'm here to talk to you about how to choose a research topic. It is my goal to impart on you some helpful techniques and tips to make this part of the research process easier for you. What makes a good topic with perspective on the researching process? Make sure you choose a topic that you find interesting. If your instructor has given you the choice to pick your own topic, try to choose something that you wouldn't mind spending hours researching and writing. At the same time, make sure that your topic you choose is relevant to your assignment and that you aren't twisting an interesting topic to fit the parameters that your instructor has set forth. If you are on the fence about a topic, you can always contact your instructor and ask. Try to pick a research topic that isn't too current. By choosing a topic from the past or an ongoing topic with a long-running history, you are picking a topic that has had some time for the academic and professional communities to research, write, and comment on. This will pay off later when you must find sources to back up your research paper. When you pick a topic, try to make sure your question is open-ended. For example, instead of approaching a research topic with the question, how the logging industry has destroyed our environment, you might ask, is the logging industry harmful to the environment? By keeping a question open-ended, you can explore both sides of an issue and expand the available resources at your disposal. You also avoid the need to change your topic if a pre-drawn conclusion turns out to be false. Try not to pick something that is too close to popular culture. It is often difficult to find scholarly sources on pop culture trends. And last, try to pick something that is not too broad or too narrow. So, what exactly do I mean by broad or narrow topic? To put it concisely, a broad topic is a topic that yields too many results when you do a search in a search engine like Google, search in a library catalog, or one of the article databases. Not only are there too many results, but the results are often only remotely related to each other. Common broad topics include entire disciplines, like psychology, or narrow topics that have been over-researched, like video game violence. A topic that is too narrow yields few results when you perform a search. Your topic may also be too narrow if you can't find an audience for your topic. Also, beware of topics that suffer from dissertation syndrome. These are topics that are concerned with the minutiae of a larger topic and are of little use to anyone other than the author to get published. How do you determine whether a topic is too broad or too narrow? Test search your topic in a general database, such as Academic Search Premier, and see what kind of results pop up. What do you do if your topic is too broad? You can try brainstorming. Brainstorming related terms to your topic is an excellent way to identify subtopics and specifics to narrow a broad term. Still need to narrow? Try an old reporter standby. Who, what, when, where, and why. This exercise can help you define a broader topic in a narrower context. On the other hand, what do you do if your topic is too narrow? Try opening your topic up by cutting away unnecessary language or restrictions. The same brainstorming activity that can help narrow a broad topic can also help broaden a narrow topic. Do you need inspiration picking a topic? The library has many fine resources to help you narrow down the choice. You can always look at your textbook for inspiration. The LRC has many books full of good research topics. And some databases, like facts.com, offer research topic suggestions and link you to resources for these suggestions. Ask your librarian for more details.